my journey of trying to belong started in childhood. Um, I learned at a young age that in order to belong or be good, I could behave or do what others wanted me to do. AKA, I learned to be a people pleaser, which is something that has followed me in my entire life. So as a young child, I was adopted by my dad, joined his extended family, and I didn't always feel completely welcomed by them. Then similarly throughout high school, I kind of felt the same way. I was the dorky art nerd. I was always a little quirky and different. The boys were not talking about my door, and I wasn't really popular. After college, I did what a lot of people do. I got married. Um, I had my cute little schmoopaloops over there. And like moms are known to do, I poured my entire life into my family. But I lost myself in the process. Being the people pleaser I was, it also impacted my marriage, as I wasn't vocal about what I wanted or needed to avoid conflict. While I absolutely loved that part of my life, and I'm so thankful I was able to be at home with my babe, because he's the best. Don't get me wrong, I loved it. But when he started school, I wanted something more for myself. I wanted something that I could do that was for me and made me happy. I started my skincare business that was called The Spoiled Housewife, which of course was tied to my husband in that individual. Um, and I started running this business. And it made me so happy and made me feel like I had a place to belong. When I started doing artisan markets and farmers markets, the people I met, I just felt this camaraderie that we were all in this together. These were all people that we started something from the ground up and we were passionate about and we wanted to build this. And that was really a time I felt like I belonged with these people. Meeting these people, I just felt like there was something I could do. And I didn't feel like there was a space for small business owners like me to come together and support each other. I just felt like other professional organizations were a little too professional for me. I was making lip balms in my kitchen and I'm like, who's gonna want me there? Like I'm just at home with my little safety goggles, living my best life. Um, so that is where the idea to start the collective started. Um, I wanted to create a space where other small business owners like me that were truly small business owners that maybe it was just one person doing it where we had a space where we could connect and support each other. Over the last five years, the company has evolved and grown. But as we all know, when COVID hit, the world kind of stopped. <laughs> Since at that point, events were the main thing we were doing, it caused me to stop. I didn't have my business to pour myself into. My baby, who was my entire world, he was more self-sufficient, was like, Mom, I got this. I don't need you <laughs> all the time. So I was left to sit and really evaluate my life. And I realized I just wasn't happy, I wasn't fulfilled. To make a long story short, I did a shit ton of therapy <laughs> and work on myself <laughs> um, and decided to file for divorce in 2022 to create the life that I wanted in a space where I did belong. I was done trying to fit in where I didn't belong. I wasn't gonna fight to be in spaces or groups where I had to be someone else to belong. Making the sacrifice in my life, I promised myself that I would never be in that situation again, financially or emotionally. I was going to surround myself with the people that gave me what I gave them, believed in me the way I believed in them, and loved me the way I loved them. The last three years have been the hardest of my life, but they have also taught me so much about who I am and where I actually do belong. I don't have it all figured out and I'm still working hard to create the life that I want and end up where I truly belong. I'm not the same person who I was, but if I wasn't that person, I wouldn't be who I am today or with the people I am now. If you feel like you don't belong, maybe you don't and that's okay. Like I said, it doesn't mean that you're wrong or right. It's just that there's another space for you somewhere else. Don't settle and don't be scared to create your own life where you belong. I've added so many amazing people to my team and my life that have helped me grow. And most importantly, I've created a space for myself and so many others to belong. I'm working hard toward my dream and finally feel like there's nothing to hold me back. Is my life perfect? Absolutely not. But I am happier and more fulfilled than I ever have been. 
and I have the absolute best group of people around me to cheer me on every step of the way. And I know this is exactly where I belong.